to turn to your forecast and we can all celebrate because it's the first day of fall. Ah, and the weather feels like it. We're going to check in with Chief Meteorologist Todd Howell, who I, I think is hidden in some corn, Robin. <laughs> I spy Todd. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, just, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just just wandering around here at Deepwell Farm here in Lenore City. Ah, uh, corn maze ready to go. Tell you what, uh, it's been a banner year, right? We've had plentiful rainfall, and uh, boy, what a great place here at Deepwell Farm, Lenore City. They're going to open up this weekend. You can see a lot of the corn's healthy. Matter of fact, uh, here, this looks like a pretty good one right here. Let me see if I can just grab a hold of it. Get it off. <laughs> That's how you do that. Don't worry, I got permission. Thank you, Ray. We'll wait and cook it later, but I mean, look, isn't that kind of cool? Oh, yeah, beautiful corn maze here. They got a pumpkin patch, got live animals. We showed that alive at five and four, and I uh, got some good looking corn. That actually looks pretty good. I have to eat this a little bit later. Thank you again, Ray, gave me permission. Hope you everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday. This is the first day of fall, first day of autumn. Absolutely started this morning. And a pretty nice day. We are seeing some high clouds moving in. Let's talk about weather conditions on this Tuesday afternoon. Now, early evening. Here we are at 5 o'clock. And a pretty nice day indeed across most of East Tennessee. Yeah, fall arrived this morning at 9.30 a.m. So we can finally say it's autumn. My wife, Lee, and I even kicked on the heat a little bit this morning as uh, we broke down and just cut it on just a little bit just to give a little kickstart. But I'm teasing. It's chilly this morning. 48 at the airport. It was 46 at my house. Mid 50s tonight. Not quite as cool. So we'll start out another comfortable start, but again, not quite as chilly. Instead of the 40s, most areas will be in the low to mid 50s and we'll be in the low to mid 70s for tomorrow. So a pretty nice Wednesday. We are talking about more moisture from beta moving our way for Wednesday, then maybe some showers Thursday. That extended forecast. I'll try not to be too corny. John and Robin, we'll uh, <laughs> send it back to you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. shucks, Todd. Oh, boy. <laughs> I stole that one from Foxy. <laughs> Todd, right. thanks. Thank you both. <laughs> East Tennessee 911 dispatchers are part of a state team headed to help in areas impacted by Hurricane Sally. Crews from Loudoun and Jefferson counties are headed to Alabama to relieve 911 dispatchers there. They are joined by workers from Middle Tennessee and from the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Summit Hill Drive will be closed two weeks for construction. There is a large crane on the road near the TVA towers. TVA says it will hoist the equipment to the top of the east tower. Of course, that is the tower where Knox County Schools and some UT offices will eventually move. The city of